the next level of Thai product you might need. This one is Cricket Protein Bar. Doesn't taste like box if you have box before. Great news! Now everyone can enjoy durian without its pungent reputation. This lounge chair here is made from banana fiber waste. Even smell like, yeah, PVC. Thailand is known for its tropical fruit, Pad Thai, Toyam Kung, mango sticky rice, elephant pants, and whatever. Don't get me wrong, those things are great, but haven't you ever wondered, could it be more? What's next? This episode will round up the products that not only emphasize on what Thailand has to offer, but also evolve themselves into the next level. Some build on from their great origin, some present Thai culture in a new approach, and some even think of sustainability because Thailand has more than meets the eyes. I'm Kuei, and this is Thailand Guide. From temple mats to sleek modern mats, Thailand is also unique in one aspect, religion. With 92.6% of its population being Buddhist, it's no surprise that Thai people's life is deeply connected to Thai Buddhist temples, one way or another. When Thai people visit the temple, whether they give donations, attend a sermon, or they need to a monk hood, or even attending funeral service, we all sit on a temple's mat. This long-lasting hardwood covering is a classic equipment. But can it evolve to the next level? Oh yes it can! PDM brand owner took his inspiration from a day visit to a temple. Thai people from all walks of life have sat on a mat like this at some point in their life, he thought. But what if I can make it cool and modern? PDM, which stands for Product Design Matters, reimagined the classic temple mat and shifted it to a more robust yet sustainable material with recycled plastics, preserving the Thai craftsmanship within the sleek designs to pass on our rich culture to the next generation. Now when I say it's more sustainable, it's because these mats are made of high quality recycled plastics and they are woven tighter than your usual mat. So as a result, you'll get a longer lasting mat and when it eventually breaks and when it eventually deteriorates, which will be a long time from now, long, long time, it'll create a, le a lot less microplastic than your usual mat. So, I'd say the owner pretty much thought this through. From banana waste to classy loud chairs. Bananas have always been a mainstay in Thai culture. We use the leaves as food containers. Their trunks became floating baskets, unlike a tong day, and also double as punching bags to train our Muay Thai boxers. Their branches are made into children's toys, and of course, its fruits are used in Thai cuisine. This lounge chair here is from the brand Upside. Its sleek, retro, futuristic design is a cross between a modern and nostalgic. Just put this in your living room and it will make a great centerpiece in your home. But how is it relevant to bananas? Well, apart from its yellow color, the upholstery cover is made from banana fiber waste. Banana peels, trees, or leaves are usually discarded or made into animal feet at best. And disposal of these materials are both costly and greatly affected the world. And when you actually sit on it, it feels quite comfy. The material itself, if you don't tell me it's made of banana waste, it feels kind of like the PVC layer. But if you take a closer look, you see the grains, you see that the materials are actually made of recycled banana waste. It doesn't even smell like banana. It smells like PVC, like kind of like a cross between a rubber and a plastic. Hmm. It's amazing how agricultural waste can be upcycled into this nifty furniture. This is truly next level. From manufacturing waste to stylish stools. Sculpture is another furniture brand that realizes that their manufacturing process produce a lot of waste. Take this stylish looking chair made of looping straps, for instance. And of course, this creates a lot of waste. So these weight cotton straps are collected and used to create roof stools to push things to the next level. Roof is a combination of rope and loop, which is how these straps are intertwined with each other, creating this modern looking stool. So basically, roof was born to reduce waste and upcycling. But honestly, it came out great. And it's easily disassembled. 
space saving, stores space saving. And the coolest thing about Rube is that each one of these is unique. It's a guarantee that you're gonna get one of a kind store just for you. From exotic foods to protein bars. Now for something typically Thai. I'm sure that many of you that have visited Khao San Road might have seen something like this before. Yes, insect snacks, edible bugs. For most tourists, these are just stunt foods. But for Thai people, they can be either a great snack or a great source of protein. Even NASA said that they might consider insects for their astronauts' foods. One Thai brand took this to the next level and made them into protein bars. Here, this one is cricket protein bar and it came in chocolate flavor. And this one is green tea flavor. And oh, also, not just the protein bar. This one is actually a protein shake in vanilla flavor. Let's give it a try. Since we got it. This is actually my first time. Let me get scissor first. Oh, very nifty looking packages. And smell like chocolate. Of course, it's covered in chocolate. I'm pretty sure it has like nuts and almonds in them. It doesn't even look like it has bugs in it. Here we go. Doesn't taste like bugs. That's for sure. But not your typical chocolate bar. Because this is very sticky. More like a, a nougat or a toffee. Yeah, and it sticks to my teeth a bit. But all in all, it tastes great. I mean, the taste is crossed between chocolate and caramel. Yeah, it's actually good. I'm not gonna be able to talk for a while because I'm gonna have to finish what's in my mouth right now. The packet said it has cricket in it. No, don't expect a whole cricket inside of this bar. It's powdered cricket and mixed within the, uh, the mixture. Honestly, you, you can't taste any buck flavor if you have bucks before. Yeah. That's great. So, proteins from box is an up and coming protein source nowadays because comparing to a conventional source like from beef or pork or chickens and whatever, I've heard that it is actually more sustainable and it hurts the world less. So, yeah, this might be a great alternative to your conventional protein source. From fresh fruits to portable snacks, Durian, you either love it or hate it. But for those who love it, it's considered the king of fruit. And oh my god, people just can't get enough of it. So much so that it has become one of the most sought after products in Thailand. Great news! Now everyone can enjoy durian without its pungent reputation. And it comes in this tiny packet. No, actually, it comes in this big package. And inside this big package, there are tiny packages in here. Now these are the freeze-dry crispy durians. I mean, it, oh, <laughs> these still have some odor, like the classic durian odor, but it's I should say tame. And since it came in these tiny packages, you can pretty much take it to wherever you like and pop it open and enjoy it. But I won't be tasting these durian because durian for me is a no-no. I'll have someone who absolutely crazy about durian doing that for me. So the odor, the smell is dropped just a bit but it still retains its durian odor. Now the taste. อ๋อเหมือนขนมทั่วไปแป้งๆแต่อ่ะเหมือนแป้งใช่ประเภทแป้งเลยเหมือนเป็นทุเรียนอ่อนไม่ใช่แบบทุเรียนที่มันสุก
real durians processed through a freeze dry process. And from what I've heard from my intern he said that it actually tastes like durian but more condensed version of it. So yeah, give it a try. The Department of International Trade Promotion, or the ITP, invites you all to experience the next level of Thai products. As I said before, Thailand has a lot more than meets the eyes. And if you look deeper, you'll find products that not only elevates your life, but also makes this world a better place. Find out more about the Next Level Thai project at nextlevelthai.ditp.go.th or search the hashtag NextLevelThai by the ITP. If you like our content, be sure to press like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any suggestion, leave it in the comment section below. And stay tuned to find out what we have for the next episode. See you next time. Bye.